Hello YouTube, this is Dazza the Cameraman. Today is Friday, March 25th, 2016, and this is another video in the series looking at flat earth claims. Now, as you can see, I've got my umbrella here down on the floor, opened up inside. Now some people would say that that's bad luck, opening an umbrella inside. Well, as it happens, I'm not superstitious, but this video could be bad luck for some of the flat earth believers. So I'm using my umbrella to represent the dome above the flat earth that rotates around the flat earth. So the outside edge of the umbrella represents the Antarctic ice wall that is supposedly around the edge of the disk of the flat earth. And then we've got the central point right in the middle which represents the North Pole and the point that all of the stars appear to rotate around in the night sky. Now you'll notice that I've also marked out a line for the equator so I've used string to mark out the equator and I've also stuck on a yellow disc to represent the Sun. Now obviously according to the flat earth model uh, the, the Sun is on the daylight side which makes sense of course and then on the other side of the North Pole or the the axis point would be the nighttime side so daytime nighttime okay so we're looking effectively we're looking up at the night sky even though I've got the umbrella down on the floor and as we know the stars in the sky rotate around the northern pole star anti-clockwise um, the problem is, is that down on the southern hemisphere, when we look towards the south, the stars rotate in the opposite direction. They rotate clockwise. Okay. So, for example, on the New Zealand flag and the Australian flag, and there's a few other flags as well, they feature the constellation of the Southern Cross. Now the Southern Cross always rotates around a point in the sky rotating clockwise instead of anti-clockwise which should be impossible if the Earth is flat and this is what we're going to demonstrate in this video. So let's get the dome rotating anti-clockwise I'm just going to bring this closer so it's easier and we've got the stars all rotating around the sky anti-clockwise. Now it doesn't matter where I place the camera. So as long as I've got the stars rotating anti-clockwise around the sky, that is the direction that I'm turning the umbrella is anti-clockwise, doesn't matter where I place the camera, the stars are always going to rotate around the sky anti-clockwise. Here I am above the equator looking south towards the edge of the flat earth disk and we can see that the stars should still be in effect rotating anti-clockwise. There is no second point of rotation under this dome. There is only one point of rotation and that is right here in the middle which represents the North Pole. It is impossible to have two points of rotation under one disc like this. Unless I've got a double ended umbrella, in other words two umbrellas joined together and I actually flip the camera up so that we're looking at the other umbrella and then the rotation will be in the opposite direction. To what we're seeing here. And that of course, that, um, that last scenario represents what we would see with a globe earth and is in fact what we see with a globe earth because it is impossible to have two points of rotation. As I say it doesn't matter where I go out on the, the disk, the rotation is always the same. It is always anti-clockwise around the central point. So I'm actually going outside the, the disc now and looking in and you can see I'm still rotating it the same way. 
So, you know, some people take exception to using computer simulations because they say that they're manipulated and all this sort of thing. Well, just grab yourself an umbrella, mark out an equator, as I've done here, and position your camera anywhere you like, and you will see only one point of rotation. And that is this point of rotation right in the middle. You will not see the umbrella magically changing direction and suddenly going clockwise because that is impossible. In fact, even if I flip the camera upside down and um, film the rotation the same way, in effect, it's still going to be the same. Let's try that looking at the central pole, still rotating anti-clockwise. Let's bring that back again. And still the same. So I hope that's answered a few questions. Um, the flat earth model just does not work in practice. Never has, never can, never will. As always, do check out my Facebook discussion page, Voices of Reason to Explain X or Vortex. You'll find a link in the description area. Thank you for watching.